Up ahead, you'll catch a glimpse of the city's riverfront. Clinton, Iowa is a Mississippi River town that's a 45-minute drive north from the Quad Cities. What is up, YouTubers? If you're looking for a budget-friendly camera, but you still want great quality footage, I would highly suggest scrolling down to the link below to grab the GoPro Hero 9 Black. If that's still a little bit too expensive, too much more than you're wanting to spend, no problem, because GoPro also has the GoPro Hero 7 Black, which also provides great quality footage. So like I said, down below I have links for that, plus I have links for all of the other equipment that I use to make my videos on this channel. Go check them out. Clinton, Iowa is the county seat of Clinton County. Both the city and the county have lost around 10,000 people from a 1970 and 80s peak population. It's a city that was built off of industry, which should be no surprise as it's off of the Mississippi River. In this video, I drive in mad circles around the city that is Clinton, Iowa, and I tell you more about it along the way. Well, let's get to it, shall we? I do start the video in the Walmart parking lot, which is on the far southeastern side of town. <laughs> Guys, I get it that there's not much to do in towns like Clinton, Iowa. There's not much entertainment options, but come on now. I had to tell some locals that it wasn't a good idea to attach bottle rockets to shopping carts with their buddy blindfolded in a cart. They almost ran me over. Nonetheless, that's not important. What is important is that if you enjoy these videos, make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe as doing all of those things helps these videos destroy the monster that is the YouTube algorithm. Also make sure to hit that notification bell so that you can always be notified when I upload a new video of an area near you. If you enjoy this video, you might enjoy checking out some of the featured playlists on this channel. Videos on other places like Clinton can be found in my Iowa playlist, my USA Small Cities playlist, or in my Mississippi River playlist. Last but not least, if you can't get enough of me on here, you can always go follow me on my other social media accounts, and those links are below. To understand why a place declines in population, you have to know its background. Clinton is a town that has lost around one-third of its manufacturing jobs that it held at its peak in the late 1970s. As go the jobs, so go the people. It goes without saying that people aren't going to stick around in a city or a region if there is nowhere to work. Just like every other city in town the size of Clinton that's located off of the Mississippi River, industry was key in helping these places grow. Clinton started out as a lumber mill town as the Mississippi River provided shipping access. Some would say that it was the lumber capital of the world. Logs would be shipped down the river from Minnesota and Wisconsin, where in Clinton they would be able to turn that into lumber. When the railroads came through, that helped spur development even more. The lumber industry was able to hit its peak in the 1890s. Side note, as there were two towns here originally, a town called Clinton and another called Lyons. In 1895, both towns merged to become one. In 1900, Clinton was home to 22,000 people, which made Clinton a pretty big town for the time. Once the lumber industry started to decline around 1905, railroads were the main industry in town. Clinton is a town that stinks. I drove through here seven months prior to uploading this video and I still remember the awful smell while driving through this particular stretch. The giant factory that you saw on the right is owned by a company called ADM. In a prior video, I went through a place called Decatur, Illinois, where there's also an ADM factory and the smell there is just as bad. ADM is the second largest employer in Clinton County, employing 750 workers. In first place, it's Mercy One, which has multiple healthcare facilities throughout Clinton. In third place, it's another manufacturing company called Custom Pack Inc., followed by the Clinton Community School District in fourth place, and it's another manufacturer called 3M that tops out the top five. 
All the industry that you see on the right is still a part of ADM. Its facilities stretch for over a mile between some railroad tracks and the Mississippi River. After driving through here, I spotted on the map that there's what appears to be an abandoned neighborhood that's bordered by the railroad tracks to the north, ADM to the west, the Mississippi River to the south, and several warehouses to the east. Every once in a while, I'll get frustrated for not noticing something earlier while driving through a city or town, and this is definitely one of those times. Clinton is home to 25,000 residents, which is down from a 1970 peak population of nearly 35,000. Clinton has lost 6.7% of its 2010 population, and that makes Clinton one of the fastest shrinking cities in the state. Clinton County has followed the same trend, as the county was home to a 1980 peak population of 57,000, while today it's home to only 46,000. The median household income for the city is about $44,000 per year, while 17% of the residents live in poverty, 17% of adults 25 and older hold a bachelor's degree or higher, and the median value of owner-occupied housing units is $99,000. When it comes to crime, the FBI data shows that the crime rates in Clinton have been some of the worst in the entire state in some recent years. In 2017, the violent crime rate was 1,175 for every 100,000 residents. For comparison, that's a worse crime rate than the city of Chicago. However, the latest data from 2019 shows that the violent crime rates in Clinton were slightly below the national average rate, which is a big improvement. The property crime rates here, though, were still noticeably above average. You hillbillies of Clinton need to stop attaching dollar store fireworks to your neighbor's cars. It's all fun and games until people get hurt and arrests are made. Come on, people. Otherwise, the public schools here are rated as a B-, so that's not bad. But nostalgia, the whole time that you were ripping on us for being something that we're not, you passed by a beautiful building which was the Clinton Library. Shame on you for not mentioning. Oh, yeah, I did pass that, didn't I? Yeah, it is cool building. Yeah, neat. Enough of that guy. Neither you or I have time for that. This is downtown Clinton, and I actually thought that downtown looked to be pretty well kept. They have a walking path that follows the river from the bridge south to essentially the city limits north. In 1965, Clinton experienced a disastrous flood. However, an eight-mile-long levee has been built since then, and Clinton hasn't experienced a flood quite like that since. As I turn onto 5th Avenue South, it appears that this is the main east and west thoroughfare for the town. I ain't see a sax though. Put a sax on 5th Avenue and then we're talking. It still looks pretty decent though with that one actually. Yeah, never mind. You guys don't need that. Up ahead, you'll catch a glimpse of the city's riverfront. If I were to continue heading north along the river, I would eventually come across a park that has a community swimming pool and a couple of baseball diamonds. After driving through downtown, I head west towards the far western side of town. Along the way, you'll see quite a few nice older homes that line this street. I 
I've seen a lot of towns that are the size of Clinton with industrial backgrounds, and at least it appears that Clinton got the memo on investing in their downtown to make it look pretty. It looks like it's paid off too because I don't see too many abandoned storefronts for a town that's lost a third of its population. Good job, Clinton. Clinton has, in fact, lost more people over the last 10 years than any other city in Iowa of its size or greater, and the same story for the county. Clinton has lost around 1,700 people since 2010, while Clinton County has lost around 2,600 in the same given time. Going back to the population loss because that stat can kill these cities and towns over time. Less people means less tax dollars for these small cities. Iowa is a state that hasn't seen population loss, but it hasn't seen tremendous growth either. It's a state that's seen turtle speed population gains ever since its existence, and it's likely to continue that way. Cities like Des Moines and Cedar Rapids in the state continue to be where the growth is. Dubuque north of Clinton has also seen growth. People want to live where the action is, or where the jobs are, and both young adults with college degrees and jobs have been locating themselves in the larger cities. I mean, Des Moines and Cedar Rapids aren't large cities really, but for Iowa they are. There's still the factor of not wanting to be too far away from family, so in Iowa and in many other states, people will just move to the largest city within their own state to seek a better opportunity, leaving cities like Clinton in the rearview mirror. Also, data shows that of the counties within Iowa that have a population of about 20,000 to 50,000, that's where the state collectively sees its lowest median household income, the highest poverty rates, and the highest unemployment rates. These are areas that have never recovered from the 2008 recession, which seems like forever ago now. This is Clinton High School, home of the River Kings and the River Queens. Among the most notable people from Clinton includes Krista Voda, a sports reporter that most recently covered NASCAR on NBC, George Nelson, an astronaut who flew to space with NASA three times, and, probably I'm assuming the biggest hometown hero, David Johnson, NFL running back who currently plays for the Houston Texans. Another person from here that is sort of an elephant in the room is Stephen Paddock. 
If you don't know who that is, it's the guy who was responsible for the 61 deaths in 2017 during a mass shooting at a music festival in Las Vegas. Paddock was born in Clinton, however he grew up in Tucson, Arizona, and that's where he went to school. After shooting and killing 61, he then killed himself. We're now back on the main north-south thoroughfare as this time we head towards the north side of town. Early on in the video you might have catched me saying that there were two towns here originally, Clinton and Lyons, and in 1895 they both merged into one. Up ahead you'll be able to see what used to be downtown Lyons. The tall pretty building that you see is the Clinton County Courthouse. Since 1956, Clinton, Iowa has had a minor league baseball team called the Lumber Kings. Even more proof that people in the 1800s called this place the lumber capital of the world. However, after the 2020 season, the MLB restructured their minor league teams and the Lumber Kings are no longer a part of the minor leagues. They were a Class A team from 1963 to 2020, being owned by too many major league teams to mention. Most recently, it was the Miami Marlins. That was kind of a big deal in town. but but even more proof that the town is dying as the team is no longer a part of the minor leagues. It's just the latest sad thing to happen to Clinton, Iowa. That's after losing their target and now everyone's forced to shop at Walmart and they can't watch their minor league baseball team anymore because it's not a minor league team. Sad. And this is where the original town of Lyons was located.
Hopefully, 10 years from now, we won't be talking about how these small towns are struggling economically to reinvent themselves. Maybe one day, Clinton will be able to attract new jobs and residents. Maybe one day, we won't see as much poverty and unemployment. But a lot of work needs to be done for that to happen. And in my honest opinion, I'm not sure that it ever will. That doesn't mean that I'm rooting for poverty and unemployment. I really do hope that I'm wrong, but I believe that we're going to continue to see an exodus of population in towns like Clinton as people move towards places that are more attractive. I do end the video here. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe as doing all of those things helps these videos destroy the monster that is the YouTube algorithm. Also make sure to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time that I upload a new video of an area near you. If you enjoyed this video, you might enjoy checking out some of the featured playlists on this channel. Videos on other places like Clinton can be found in my Iowa playlist, my Mississippi River playlist, or in my USA Small Cities playlist. Last but not least, if you can't get enough of me on here, you can always go follow me on my other social media accounts, and those links are below. We'll see you next time. Peace!